Welcome parents. Thank you for coming to back to school night. My name is Mrs. Kelsey and I teach chemistry too. My phone extension is 4007 and my email address is on the screen. Please don't ever hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Our online platform for this year will be Google Classroom. Um, your students became familiar with that in the spring with our Chem 1 class and I'm going to continue with it this semester. So I'll be posting announcements, daily check-in questions, Google Meet links, uh, lab information, any PowerPoints, any content that we need will all be posted in that one location. All assignments are going to be turned into Google Classroom as well. So it's going to be our one-stop shop for Chemistry 2 information. Learn Portal is where you will find your students' grades. Um, when you log into Parent Portal, I will try to update grades as frequently as possible. If something is left blank, um, it will calculate as a zero, but it just means I'm not finished yet. And you may see scores posted in Google Classroom from time to time. Sometimes I will check an assignment in Classroom before I go ahead and post it in Parent Portal. The pattern of coursework will be a little bit different this semester. Um, we're still going to begin by reading each chapter and taking notes. And when students are home, they're going to be either working on independent work that we will continue going over the next day in class, or they may be watching a screencast of a lecture or a discussion, and then we will recap and follow up with that in class the next day and continue with our practice problems. I want to utilize class time for problem solving together so I can help the students as well as as many labs as possible since we missed out on a lot of labs during Chem 1 in the spring. Students will still be completing section review and chapter review questions from their textbook and um, their tests and quizzes, their assessments will be taken from home this semester. So on the days where your students are home, they may take a quiz or a test, there'll be a time limit on it. And of course, I expect them to follow the, um, you know, the honor code even when they're home. Topics that we're learning this semester, states of matter, gas laws, solutions and colligative properties, acids, bases, and salts, equilibrium, reaction energy and kinetics, redox and electrochemistry, and hopefully an intro to organic chemistry. It's a bit of an ambitious list. We are starting a little bit behind from Chem 1, um, but we will we'll see what we get to. We're really excited to be back. Um, the chemistry SAT is something that parents often ask me about. If your student is interested in being a science major in college, um, this may be a beneficial test for them to show their proficiency at the end of the course. I would not recommend taking the Chem SAT until the end of Chem 2, and your students can either talk to me or their guidance counselor to get some more details. We are planning to have our first lab tomorrow on Friday, and that's going to carry over to next week. It's a multi-day lab. Our lab groups are going to be heterogeneous, so A students a day students will partner up with B day students as well as virtual students from home to make a heterogeneous team so they can all work together while still maintaining small groups. And we do have Mole Day coming up October 23rd. I'm not sure how we're going to celebrate this year, so I'm going to be talking to your students about their ideas for how we can safely do that. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great night.